Hi, I'm Jan Vusser and I work at the lab at Elector and now I'm testing our sonar distance walking aid. As you can see now, it's starting up. There's a Raspberry Pi involved. So Raspberry Pi distance measuring system. You may like to set the volume high. You can adjust the volume as he says. Let's see if I can get a measurement here. 59. 59 here. 48. 48. If I point in the dis this direction. 34,300. Okay, I know I can go this way. There's a pole here. 68. Okay, 68. That means there's something 62. here. I can go on. 223. So I know there's something coming up. 122. Don't know really what it is. 75. Okay. 85. Looks like a stair. 57. Another stair. 80. I'm going to point in this direction. 215. But I want to go to the right. So we'll see. 188. Where's the door? 31. 31 it says. 37. 206. 288. Okay. 131. This is our sonar distance walking aid. And it contains a Raspberry Pi. And a little display. And also it tells you what distance that you have from the object. We're testing it. 212. 78. 91. 34. 193. We have just seen the testing of this uh, device. Now I want to fill you in about some details about our distance measuring robot. As you can see here, the device, there's a display on it, which is optional. There's, it's based on a Raspberry Pi 2, which is located down here. And if we can take the display off, put it here. As you can hear, there's an MCP processor. And there's two relays here, steered by some transistors. And you can adjust some, some things. And here's the on-off button. And we have here the schematics. You can see here, display. All of the sonar measurements are going into the MCP. And then into the Raspberry Pi, which you can see here. Into the Raspberry Pi, we put a synthesizer, a voice synthesizer program. And as long as the device gets some input from the sonar measurements, from the sonar echo, which is here on the stick, then it lets you know what it says. So we'll power it up, put the display on again. And we put a, a small battery pack underneath here to power it. Raspberry Pi distance measuring system. You may like to set the volume high. 26. And you can hear it speaking. If I change the distance, 60. You can see it just displays it and it speaks out loud. On these two relays, which are steered by the Raspberry Pi also, you can put some uh, vibrating motors to warn a uh, blind man if he is uh, walking up to something that's really close to him. We have seen it powered on. If you want it to power off, then just push this button. The Raspberry Pi will now shut One. down. And then it powers off. I hope you like the device. Maybe you can build it at home. Our plans are in the, in the magazine. And uh, have fun with it. If you want to improve it, please send us details to improve it. Or if you have suggestions or something, please let us know. We're open for it. Have fun.